One of the main problems with LED lighting is that its colour quality can be really bad. For example, this is a super bright flashlight I made a few videos back and it utilises one of those cheap cob LEDs you can buy from eBay. Now it is very bright but the light quality is pretty bad. For example, this is a test scene that's shot under normal daylight because there's a window off to my left and it looks, you know, pretty good. But if we light the same scene with the flashlight bouncing it off a wall, uh, you can see that it has a horrible green cast and uh, this affects the skin tones in particular. Now this was without adjusting the white balance settings on the camera, but even if we do adjust it to the LED, the green tint still persists in the skin tones and they look a bit pale. And this really exemplifies the effect of low CRI lighting, as it really does affect skin tones in particular, and it can make people look a bit ill essentially. And uh, this poses a real problem to us DIYers, because what LEDs can we use for our projects? Well, thankfully, there is one manufacturer called UG LED that does make a version of this style of LED, um, but with high quality phosphor. So the light given off is of extremely high quality. And the result is that they emit light that is almost indistinguishable from real daylight. So to show you what I mean, I've set up a test scene in a cardboard box and covered it with a diffuser. This is outside, of course, under direct sunlight, and it looks pretty good. The colours are accurate and vibrant. Now, if we try it indoors with the UG LED, you can see that the colours are pretty much the same. Now, there are some slight variations in the colours, but they're so minor that they wouldn't be noticed outside of a direct comparison. Now, this LED absolutely blew my socks off when I first saw it, because to the eye, it really does resemble genuine sunlight even though you know it's not. And I had to go around the house showing everyone how good this LED is because I've never seen such a high quality light output from anything other than the sun itself. And uh, it really is phenomenal. Now I also tested the light output with a spectrophotometer and it reported a CRI value of a whopping 96, which is almost the highest value possible. In comparison, the cheap LED only got 69, so it's no wonder it looked so bad in that comparison earlier. Now, speaking of that comparison, let's try it again with the cheap LED versus the UG LED. Uh, and yes, that's the UG LED on the right, not sunlight. Now, after I saw these results, I decided there and then that I'm definitely going to have to make a video light with this LED because it's so easy to uh, mimic daylight with it. Now this quality light output does come at a bit of a price because they're about 10 times more expensive than the cheap ones you can get from eBay. Um, but for me that's well worth it because if you're going to spend the time to make something like this for anything other than just general illumination then um, you want to use something that's going to give you a good quality light output and this does that in spades. Now uh, the manufacturer, UG LED, does sell a uh, warm white version which could be very useful for home lighting, but I personally quite like the um, daylight balanced version because it has a warmth to it because of the accurate colour, which is something I was not expecting at all. Now um, another thing is that high CRI LEDs are surprisingly quite hard to find on the general market, so um, it's brilliant to see UG LED supporting us by selling them individually online on their website. So if you do want to buy... <laughs> it's okay, they're robust. <laughs> if you do want to buy one of these LEDs, I do recommend that you check out their website. So uh, I do hope this video has highlighted the importance of high CRI lighting. I will personally be making some more projects using these in the future, so stay tuned for those. Uh, and other than that, I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.